So I'm here at Rutgers University today and today is the annual hot dog eating day as you can see behind me from the blow up hot dog as well and so there are a variety of hot dogs that are on offer they're entirely free and students can choose between one made from a cow one made from a chicken and also a vegan one as well and so I'm going to ask some of the hundreds of students here today whether or not they'll choose the vegan one and if they won't why not? It's hot dog day today. It um, is hot dog day. I think I might know the, uh, the answer to this but are you happy it's hot dog day? I'm very happy it's hot dog day this is my, one of my favorite days of the year. Are you, are you asking about hot dog hot day? Hot dog day, yes. Okay. Um, is that good? Okay, so um, are you happy it's hot dog day? I am so happy it's hot dog day. It's like the best day of the year. Why are you so happy then? Because I love that everybody comes out here on College Ave. It's like one big vlog party. There's yep. a bunch of cool events going around and it's just really cool to be all together. Why are you excited for hot dog day? Hot dogs. Yeah? They yeah. like hot dogs, right? Yeah, they're big. So what type of hot dog are you going to get? Uh, what kind do they have? They got special hot dogs? The question I'm asking people is, are you happy that it's hot dog day today? Yeah, I'm pretty happy that it's hot dog today. Uh, and why are you pretty happy that it's hot dog day? You get free hot dogs? That's a big incentive, right? Have you had your hot dog yet? No, I haven't, but I plan on getting that. That's so sweet. What's his name? Tito. Tito. That's beautiful. Cool. Um, Right, so um, are you happy? Well, the question, let me let me a bit more formal. The question I'm asking people is, are you happy that it's hot dog day today? Yes, definitely. And why are you happy that it's hot dog day? Um, I love hot dogs and it's a really <laughs> nice day. And what is it about hot dogs that you love? They're delicious. They're delicious. And, and free. And, well, that always helps, right? Corn dog day. What's a, what's a corn dog? Like, I'm English, I don't know. Tell me what corn dog is. It's like a, it's like a hot dog with breading around it that's like deep fried. Yeah. So it's kind of like crunchy on the outside, hot dog on the inside. That's nice. And what's the corn dog made from? Like, what, what is the actual dog made from? That's a good question. I don't know. Do you know what the, 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 the actual hot dog, what's it made from? Nah, it's it's nasty. I know that. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> nasty, but I, I prefer not to think about that when I'm eating my corn dog. I mean, I've been told that we have a beef one, a chicken one, and a vegan one. Which of, which of those three do you think you'll get? Probably either the beef or the chicken. And why do you think you'll get the beef or the chicken over the vegan one? It's real meat. I don't know. Real meat. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what is it about real meat that makes you more appeal to it? It just comes... I, to be honest with you, I don't know. <laughs> but do you think that when you're queuing and you're going to buy either the beef or chicken, will you think about what's in the hot dog? Like the process? I mean, honestly, I prefer a more organic hot dog over over something that's a little bit more fake. Yeah. And why is that? For, for yourself, for the environment, for the animals, what, what reasoning would that be? Kind of for both reasons, because it's like you know what you're putting in your body, you know what you're having, and then you know it's a lot healthier and coming from more sustainable sources. So they had three varieties, if I'm right. They had a, a beef, a chicken, and a vegan one. Yeah, they, that was cool. Yeah, the vegan one was really cool, but I just had the normal like beef hot yeah. dog. It was really good. There's a lot of condiments too, which well, is cool. Condiments are very important when it comes to hot dog game. And so what made you choose the beef one then? I feel like that's just like the traditional hot dog and if I'm celebrating the national holiday I'll just kind of go with what's you know the traditional type of hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> and so why and is that why you chose say the beef one over the vegan one then? Yeah I mean I could have tried the vegan one it's just I don't know. Well Something what stopped you from cool. trying it do you think? What I'm sorry? Yeah, what stopped you from trying the vegan one do you think? I don't know just maybe the idea of what it's made out of. Do we go to like it's the nasty bits of animals right? Yeah. Do you think about the animals? Uh, kind of. No. Not really. What animal is in a hot dog? Cows and uh, uh, pigs, I think. Right? I don't know. They're everything, right? Do, do you think that the, the, the pigs are happy as hot dog day? Uh, definitely not, or else it'd be like they name it like Pig Dog Day. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Do you think, do you ever think about the animals when we're queuing up for a hot dog? Do we think about what the animals have to go through for, for that for that product? Usually, you know, when I'm uh, out here in a big event like this, I'm not worried about it. Grilling at home, you know, you make sure it's like. Grass-fed beef, like sure, at, like, sure. like you know, it's like certified meats. Yeah. Make sure the animals are treated humane. You can look the stuff up like this when you're shopping yeah. for your meat, and I do that. Yeah. But an event like this, I doubt they're doing that for like large quantities of hot no. dogs. Definitely not. And why do why, why do you look for grass-fed? Because you think the animals are treated better. The, the the animals are treated better than it's better quality meat for me to sure, eat. Sure. And have you had your hot dog yet? Yes. What hot dog did you get, if you don't mind me asking? A beef one. And uh, what did you do with the beef one? Did you put any condiments and such on it? Yeah, ketchup and mustard. Ketchup and mustard. And, and, and tell me, what goes into a beef hot dog? I have no idea. <laughs> I've asked that to a, yeah, I've asked that to a few people. And someone said to me, oh, it's probably like a mixture of different animals. Yeah, I think so too. What animals do you think are inside them? A pig and a cow. And what happens to the animal for, for organic or non-organic products, like a hot dog? I know that for the most part, it's usually a lot of the more unused parts for the animal. Yeah, sure. And, and, and so how do we get those unused bits from the animal? What was the process? Like, you'll, 
once the animal gets picked, like for like for the chicken, once the breast is gone, the wings gone, all the desirable parts are gone. They'll just throw whatever's left. Mince it up, I guess, right? I guess. Uh, yeah. What do you think is higher value? Because in this situation, right, we've got three choices, and one of them is vegan, and, and I think that you were quite interesting in saying that you wouldn't choose that one. Yeah. What do you think is higher value when we have three choices? The ta taste or life? The life of an animal or the taste of the product? I mean, granted, I also work in a restaurant, and I grew up around a restaurant, yeah. so the taste of it honestly comes through. So uh, what was in the beef one? Tell me, what's in, what's in the beef product? I, I'm not really sure. Actually, that's a good question. Yeah, you got yeah. me there. <laughs> it's a, it's a we can presume right. it's cows, right? Let's, yeah, we don't yeah. know what bits, but let's presume it's just yeah. cows. Do we? When you, when you queued up and bought the beef one, did you think about the cow? No, I didn't. Why do you think you didn't think about the cow? I don't know. I guess because it's so... Matt, like it's just always there that yeah. you just don't you don't think about it. You don't yeah. think about it. Do you think if you'd thought about it and you thought about the cow, um, who's who obviously was killed, do you think that maybe would have compelled you to buy the vegan one more? Probably, yeah. These are thoughts that I have after the fact. Yeah. Sometimes when I eat and thinking about like going vegetarian and vegan, yeah. so that's a really good thought that if I had known before exactly what was in it, I might have chosen the vegan hot dog. So here's a question: What do you think is higher value, taste or life? I feel like life. That's probably the higher value. Yeah, you, I, I think we all think that, but when we buy those products, we say taste, don't we? Because yeah. we're saying, well, I'm going to buy the beef one over the yeah. vegan one, or, or take the beef. So we do actually put taste as being higher yeah. than, than life in that scenario, yeah. which is confusing because it goes against our morals, doesn't yeah. it? How, how do we think we morally justify taking the life of an animal then, if we don't have to? I guess we morally justify it because we don't know. I guess we don't, we're not educated and we're not aware of yeah. really what's happening. So we just kind of are eating the things that are in front of us yeah. instead of really knowing the process of what it, it is that what we're eating and how we're getting the food. Absolutely right. And I think, do you think maybe after today, maybe go home and do a little bit of research and see what happens to the animals and then see next time where you have the choice between one or the other, see if you choose the vegan one instead. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I appreciate the conversation. Yeah. Thank have you. a very nice day. Yeah, you too. Bye. 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 <laughs> when you were queuing up, did you think about the animal before you bought the hot dog? No. Do you think there was a reason why we didn't we think about it? I don't think about an animal whenever I eat. No. 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 no I, mean, I, I certainly didn't used to. That's true. And so uh, it's funny because we call them hot dogs. Would, yes. you, would you have taken the, the, the sausage if it was uh, made from a dog? No, definitely no. not. <laughs> no, I, I would presume so, right? Yeah. And why do you say no? Well, because I have a dog. I mean, it's not actually mine. It's my boyfriend's, but oh, I love very, dogs. He's very sweet. <laughs> and do you think that there's a difference between a sausage made from a dog and a sausage made from a cow or a pig? Yes. And what would the difference be? Uh, dogs are domestic pets. So I feel like eating them would just be like eating a baby. <laughs> and what about in countries where they do consume dogs? Is it moral in those countries? I think it's terrible, but I think it's because we have pets. Obviously, they probably don't have pet dogs there if they're eating them. Yeah, I mean, yes, exactly. So it's almost like a cultural thing. Exactly. But do you think that culture should dictate morality? Um, I guess in cases like that, it would. Do you think that, that that's, that's the right standard to set morals or, or based on cultures and traditions? I feel like it's hard to set morals. You kind of just believe what's right and wrong, and it has a lot to do with where you go up. It go absolutely up. does. And so do you think in countries where, say, it's, it's, they, they do consume dogs, is, is that a moral act because that's how they were raised? Um, I think of it as immoral because I wouldn't do it, but I could understand why in their cultures it would be moral. And so I, I, one of the questions I'm asking people is, uh, why did you choose, say, the beef one over the vegan one? Um, I eat beef, so... No. I've never had a vegan hot dog. No. Um, and what do you think is higher value in that, in that circumstance? Say, say taste or life? Uh, I guess taste in that case. And why do you, why do you value taste? Because the question will be sensory pleasure. And so do we think the sensory pleasure um, or the joy, enjoyment we get from consuming something justifies what happens to the animals? I'm sorry, what was the question? That's a good yeah. <laughs> do, does sensory pleasure alone, so the enjoyment we get from consuming the product, justify what happens to animals? Well, I feel like humans have been eating animals for all of time yeah so in you, the cases of animals such as cows and chickens i would say yeah and do you think the longevity of an action determines whether or not that action is it should be deemed moral like because we've hurt each other for thousands of years as well of course yeah um i guess not yeah. i guess it kind of morals change over time also yeah yeah it's so morality changes it yeah. yeah and so what would stop us now from en en encompassing not just dogs but but cows and chickens and pigs into our circle of, of moral compassion as well um, personally, I think going vegan is too expensive, so yeah. that has a lot to do with it. If vegan food was cheaper and they could make it taste the same, then yeah. I think more people would be vegan. And Next year, so we're, we have hot dog day next year, and then you have that choice for vegan when it's completely free and there's no taste, uh, there's no expense barrier there. Would you choose it then to try it? I would still choose beef, but I mean, I could try it. Like, I wouldn't be against trying it. Exactly. Just Give knowing it that I, I like Give beef. it a try. And I, and I don't want to keep you any longer because I appreciate yeah. that. Um, but in terms of price, 
the cheapest foods we can buy, like rice, potatoes, vegetables, uh -huh. fruits, they're all plant-based. And, and, uh, and so we can definitely eat you know, very affordably on a, on yep, a, on a vegan diet as well. And we'll have a lovely day. I appreciate you, you stopping, and he's very, very cute. <laughs> Thank you. Day. Thank you so much. What went into your beef hot dog? What was the, what was the, uh, the product inside? I, I don't know myself specifically. I didn't work into planning this event. I'm so, doing a lot of the staffing. So there's what, better people that ask for that. Sure, sure. Um, what animal went into the beef hot dog? I, I don't know. Oh, uh, what, what animal's beef? Beef is cow. Yeah, cow. Exactly. That's that's all. I was just wondering, yeah. like the animal well, that goes into it. Is they're like, all uh, halal. So we got them. They're all halal. So what does halal mean? Halal means no. Halal means that they were killed before, without being stunned. Okay. I don't. That's all right. No, that's the, all right. Don't worry. I don't <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not worried about that aspect of it. Um, the question. Uh, uh, one of the questions I'm asking people is when we have a choice between, say, a few different options. What makes us choose, say, the taste of a product over the life of an animal? I don't know, it's up to the individual. Yeah, well, what, what made you choose taste over life? I, I just chose taste, I don't know. Do you think that, 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 um, that, that sensory pleasure or the enjoyment we get from a product justifies what happens to the, to the animals? I'm not going to comment on that. Okay, that's okay, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> Hello. This is Jamie. Nice, nice to nice meet you. you. How are you? Yes. And why is the taste, why, why, what about taste and why is it that it has higher value? It's just that in general, the stuff that you put in your body, it's you. you sometimes you have to have a balance of taste in that, but at least coming from my perspective, you, the taste a lot mostly comes first. Yeah. And so I guess the question for that means, do you think that sensory pleasure is a good enough justification for what happens to animals? Wow. That's a <laughs> <laughs> it's a difficult one. Though. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you think? Is, the, is taste alone justify taking their life? It depends on the situation. Like there's some, like you know, for chickens, for cows, so it's going to be a lot more. Just, it's going to be a lot more justified because we've been doing it for so long, yeah. as opposed to something like something like venison or just the longevity of an action make it moral. Like we've heard, you know, we've been killing each other for a long time. Does that make it moral just because we've done it for a while? I wouldn't necessarily say so, but it's just a matter of we've been doing it for so long and we don't have a solution that changes that. Don't we? What what solution would change that? It'd be. It'd be the vegan hot dogs, but the problem is it comes not necessarily the taste of the vegan hot dogs isn't yeah. necessarily, you can't necessarily replicate it. No, not necessarily. But the hot dog today is free. So what would, what, would, what would stop you from trying the vegan one today, since you've got nothing to lose? Now that you've actually convinced me, I actually might think about it. And how were the animals killed? I don't know how the animal process is killed, so I don't know. Do you know how the animals are killed? Bad. Bad. Yeah. Bad. Like, if you had to think of a slaughterhouse, what do you think happens in a slaughterhouse? They kill the animals. Like, think about how. Like knives, and sh like they cut them. Yeah. Yeah, they cut the throats, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe it's something worth thinking about on Hot Dog Day, about how we have fun and we celebrate, but we don't have to celebrate by harming others. We can celebrate by doing fun things that don't involve suffering, right? Yeah. So have a nice day, guys. Appreciate it very Thanks, much. Thanks, you too. Take it easy. Thanks. Last question: What has higher value, taste or life? That's a tough question. That's a tough one. Definitely yeah. life. I don't think that's a tough question. Nah, I think yeah. life. Yeah. You, you can get good tasting yeah. food, but you don't have to sacrifice the, the life for it. Exactly my point. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Have a lovely day. You too. Take it easy, man.